guys, welcome to today's video. We are going to be doing something slightly different uh, in that we're going to try and illuminate our cabinet with some LED strips, but not in the normal way where it's on and off. No, no, no. We are going to try and make them color changing and not only that, integrate them with our Questron or with my Questron um, home automation um, software that I've got here which kind of currently does uh, you know does my lights throughout the cabin and throughout my house so we are going to try and get these color changing LED strips to come on um, with the faction colors for our uh, armies so corn will be red um, you know orcs will be green that kind of thing so let's have a look at the cabinet and what we've got in here so this is the cabinet, we've got our corn army up here, quite a few shells of corn. I've taken the orc ones out um, already because they're the easiest to take out but this shelf comes out here and then we have got our slaves to darkness and fire slayers down here. Now what I've done is um, I've got these LED strips from a company called um, Simply, LED, Simply Lighting, sorry.co.uk and what they've done for me is actually just check what they should have done is they should have cut these strips to more or less the length of the shelf and they're not um, cut to the exact same length because uh, of whereabouts you can cut the uh, LED tape but it is more or less there so hopefully a lot of the hard work has been done for us already so that goes there yeah so that practically goes the whole way across push that to the other end and then what you can see is we've got a little bit of give at the end to flex the cable through and uh, what I've asked them to do is to solder on two meter tails or two and a half meter tails um, for us so we can get all the way up the cabinet and not only that I've ordered these diffusers for the LED tape to sit in which we'll need to cut to length um, but yeah so the idea is to put a diffuser under each shelf uh, and then light them up to whatever color we want so first thing we're going to do is actually we're going to test the theory and power these up with our uh, Crestron driver to see if we can actually get them to change color all right so before we go and cut the um the profiles what I want to do is just get an understanding of where the LED tape is going to go now what I've seen is a lot of people put their LED tape at the end at the back you kind of get this kind of color where it's a bit dull because it's not shining on the front which is um, what you want people to see so if we bring it forward bring our tape forward you can see you get a much nicer color coming from it um, we obviously don't want it right at the front otherwise you'll see it from the shelf but if we go about a quarter of the way down the shelf you kind of get both you get both wells where you get a nice wash over what you're trying to highlight um, and you won't really see the the profile too much okay, okay so I've got my shelf out and I'm gonna measure what we've got so 30 inches probably going to leave an inch at the end for the cable to come out and flex around comfortably so is an inch going to do it yeah yeah that should be fine so we're going to cut it to 29 inches 
Okay, I'm gonna go and get these cut now for all the shelves. going to do now so I'm going to use the brackets that come with these and making sure you know which is the front edge so this is the back edge that you're not going to see um, because it's not got the vinyl cover on it so from the front edge I think we want to go roughly about there so it is 10 inches more or less deep so we go four inches in, that's kind of just under halfway. Now, a little tip is make sure your screws won't go all the way through your shelf or whatever you're screwing into. I've got two sizes here. Um, I'm gonna start off with the smaller one. I mean, even that one won't go through, but it's a bit tight. So I'm gonna start off with the smaller one. If need be, I can then move on to the bigger one. Make sure they're the same distance apart so your LED strip goes straight. Then, let's take the diffuser out. Pop this guy in. Okay, I suspect it needs to sit underneath the lip. So you can pop the um, the plastic diffuser back in. There we go. LED tape does come with a sticky background. Okay, that looks good. All right, stick it down. extra minutes um, just putting the end caps on I had to re-drill this one out a bit to get all the cables through because I think it was designed for a two or three core cable rather than five but yeah so that's a that's a complete LED strip now which we can slide around or even take out of the clips and flip around if we want to bring the tails through the other side of the shelf so that's one shelf done. I've got five more to do. So let's get cracking with those.
Right, so I've done all the shelves, um, and the only extra thing that I've done is I've put this black gaffer tape over there to hold the, uh, the cables in so you won't see the colour of the cables on the shelf. There's, I've also done the top one there, because that wasn't on the shelf, and this one here, um, because that's the middle supporting bit. All right, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to unscrew the cabinet from the wall and bring it out so we can dress the cables. So let's pull this out and get the trunking on. just as well because there's nothing really to screw into um, so we're going to take that luckily this is we don't need to cut it either the two meter length so it seems to be just as well for the uh, cabinetry put that here because we're going in the corner I did try and get black trunking, but they didn't have any at the store. Um, okay, so I've taken the cabinet off the wall uh, and I've taken the doors off because that makes it very unstable. You're only supposed to blow the bloody doors off uh, now that it's not tethered uh, to the wall. So we don't want it to topple on us as we're working on it. Um, and now what we're gonna do is we are gonna drill holes in the corner where our shelving is going to go and we're going to poke the cables out from there and this is optional if you want to do it but I've got some trunking and I'm going to pop that in the corner there to dress the cables as they come in so they're all held together in here so it can uh, move as a unit okay so let's get that going So I've put the, the unit back now, and as you can see, we can't see any cables, which was nice. So we've got a nice clean finish. Um, I mean, obviously you can see the cables at the top, but we're going to uh, fit those. I'll off. just put them out of the way there. Uh, and for now, so let's put the doors back on. Right, so I put the doors back on now. Uh, what I've got now is I've got some There's Velcro and I'm just going to run um, for the cables to come out along the top uh, of it and I'm going to stick our drivers on because we're going to have that <laughs> down so they don't really, they don't really want to screw them. Um, Yeah, we don't want to really, you know, damage the cabinet. Plus it also means you can take, take it off if you ever need to work on it um, without having to unscrew it. So I'm just going to go and do that and then I'm going to connect our uh, tails up, connect it to power, and then hopefully we'll get some lights on. I am 
going to gaffer tape this one up and then do the same with these four shelves and then we will be back. Now we have all the drivers connected and labelled up. So I'm just going to go and pair these up uh, to the system like we did at the beginning of the video and then uh, we'll be back and ready to turn on some lights. Welcome back guys. As you can see I've put all the models back into the shelves and I've coded up all the drivers and um, programmed them all to come on at the same time. Normally they would be on the light switch that controls this area, marked cabinet, but just for today's purposes I put them on this Crestron remote. So you can see that they all come on either as red, I mean I've only done just a few options, green uh, and blue, and that's all done through your colour controllers, whichever one you wanted. And then obviously you got off. Um, if you go for the RGBW option, which is what I've done, you can also do a nice white light uh, that's what the w stands for so if you're if i'm teaching you need to suck eggs but you get a nice white light um, on the cabinet if you wanted that for day-to-day -day, uh, presentation because we went through the time and expense of splitting out each shelf for a separate controller you can do cool stuff uh, like this you can have a separate color for each shelf um, and for us i've just done that as the faction colors um, you know why not it's just a bit of cool bit of fun uh, also, going on from that, I've done a bit of coding. Uh, you're not going to be able to do this under normal circumstances, but with a uh, integrating software, you can. We are going to randomly light up each shelf, and it's going to cycle through and stop on a random shelf. So, for example, if you didn't know which army you wanted to pick, you could do it this way. And what it will do is it will just cycle through, getting quicker and quicker and quicker, and end up on a random shelf. There we go, Fire Slayers. So that'll be uh, the army for today if that's what we wanted to play. Uh, let's do it again. Um, hopefully, it'll give us a different random result rather than Fire Slayers again. Hey, Orcs! Okay, so that's just a bit of fun that you can have with it. So uh, hopefully you guys um, enjoyed this video. It was a very fun project to do, uh, just thinking outside the box. If there's any questions you guys may have, um, if, you're, if you want to try and do this at home, uh, just feel free to give me a, a shout. I'll, I'll try and answer any questions that uh, you come across. Um, but yeah, have fun, and uh, hopefully we'll see you guys on the next one. Catch you later.